Hi guys, so I asked on Instagram which pairs you guys usually trade and the main answers were EU, GU, AU, US30 and GJ and J, Emma UJ, which I don't really trade, I only trade EU, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to do a weekly outlook for you guys with these six pairs, um, hopefully you find them useful, otherwise, um, I don't know then. Okay, let's start. Let's quickly get on with it. So, EU, let's start um, on the daily time frame, which I don't really use anymore. But obviously, there's these, oops, there's these lows. Um, price has reacted from um, daily break of structure here. Um, we have the extreme that I reacted off, I meant the extreme demand that I reacted off, um, and then there's a supply, um, a supply here. Uh, probably refine it down to the wick. And then obviously this is going to be inducement, but we've taken the high for that, so we could expect lower pricing to continue this big bearish trend but obviously we only int well we are intraday trade only so i don't really it doesn't really matter what's happening on the higher time frame well it does but obviously that's for like swing traders if we want to hold but we want we will focus on the intraday trade so on the four hour you can see that there's this unmitigated four hour demand zone that price can come back to um, within the upcoming week because it's the four hours so it takes time this high was taken um, there is a four hour area here that price could react from um, to go higher into this daily or it could um, react and continue lower um, supply <laughs> so that's the four hour then go down to the one hour quickly um you can see this is like liquidity here refined would be this is still quite big so let's refine it on the 15 possibly 15 is all the way down here um so that would be the extreme extreme if it does come to that let's put 15 there Going into next week, I'm looking for more buys, even though there's even more liquidity available here. This high, I expect it to go um, because it didn't really break any structure, so it, it, it's insignificant. Um, I have a 15 minute area that uh, this 15 minute supply that I could react from up here. And then um, I think I refined it down to five minutes in here. Five minute, um, but obviously we can expect price to continue higher from here because obviously demand is in control at the moment, even on the five minutes here, and then just break structure and then continue higher. But for the time being, these are the areas I'm looking for because this high is looking to be taken out. Um, and then there's all, all this available um, liquidity down here. So I'd expect some more downside movements. Because um, this is one big bullish leg, as you can see. So internally, we're quite bullish. Um, so yeah, I'm looking for buys. Okay, next pair. GU. Uh, let's use this chart. Daily bullet. I meant bearish as hell. Um, did we sweep? Sweep and then break a structure on the daily. Obviously, there's higher areas that we can look for for supplies, but for the time being, we'll look for the most current. Um, the most current price action because that's good that could take you uh months before it even gets up there so we focus on current price action right now it's 
Let's see. The daily demand would be this one. So we move it down. Has it tapped into it? No. There is a chance that it could come lower and read it from here. Lower and then continue this push up. Because obviously you can see this push up and then all this liquidity has been taken at the moment. <clears throat> oh, let me just change that to red. And then let's quickly go to the four, four hour, four hour. What's happening in the four hour? Four hour, there's a change of character here. Um, a de quite a big demand zone here with available liquidity. <clears throat> Uh, let's check the one hour actually. That's a big wick. Pro duty news. Um, 15 minutes. Let's see if we can refine it down. Oh dear, we can't refine it down. Um, five minutes is literally this wick at the bottom. But because 15 is so massive. It could just tap and go. But obviously, right now, price is quite rangy. Yeah, so price is rangy at the moment. So we can see... I would look for sells, if I'm honest with you. Um, just because price is bullish at the moment. But we do... Let me just wait. Let's go on the one hour real quick. And if we use this premium discount tool. Price has hit the 50%. Um, so it could, mm, technically it could go high from here. But at the moment, let's go on the 15 minute to see what we can look for. Um, currently, we can see this. And then this. But this is the... The breaker structure this is just a change of character uh we can see this 15 minute area here however i suppose this would be the inducement um let's see if there's anything on the five minutes mm, yes on the five minutes of this area that's unmitigated okay Okay, I would look for more. I would look for buys for empty cells um, at this area because there's this liquidity here. Um, there's not. There's not that. It's not a clear um, inducement type of thing, um, and you can see from here this five minute supply mitigated that, and this is the last unmitigated five minutes. Um, so price has a reason to come back into here higher. Where's my arrow to tool? <laughs> yeah, so price is reacting from here. Um, could react from this demand. Uh, go higher and then react and then, you know, continue down. Okay, excuse my drawing, my bad drawing. But at the moment, there's a five minute demand here that is reacted for from, which means demand is holding. Um, we could see this get swept first, unless we get this sweep and then um, a change of character on the one minute, then I suppose you can look for cells. Um, so for, for the time being, those are my areas. Um, unless price doesn't go lower, then it would react. Then I would look for the actual extreme point of interest. Um, but there's nothing clean there, because this didn't really break this high. So we're still in um, in this internal rangey thing. Okay, on to the next AU. AU on the daily, similar to EU, I believe. Um, had this sweep, but this low hasn't been broken yet. So this low is quite strong. Um, daily area. My daily supply here, or well, the last daily supply, um, and then obviously the extreme from this leg. 
Um, and then obviously right now it would be this supply. Um, on the four hour... Also had this ginger character here, reacted off this four hour extreme at the moment. Um, also had another change of character here, so we could look for higher prices actually for the time being um, into the, the daily up there. Right now, let's see, there's nothing too clear at the moment. Because we're already off this two hour. So this is mitigated, so this is can be used as liquidity in the future. Um, now I suppose the next logical area would be... Because this caused a flip, so then there's another area here that we could look at. To sell from. Um, and then currently... Um, people would mark this, but if that's too obvious, I would mark this. Oh, sugar. I would mark this one. Where the hell is my demand? Demand. 15 minute. Liquidity here. Um, hasn't broken this yet. Um, or it could come back to this extreme extreme because it's not mitigated yet. Should I even write the 15? Or would you guys know? I don't even know. Because um, obviously there's liquidity here as well. So these are the areas I would be buying from. Um, buying from into here. Or if they sell then obviously we'll disregard it. Um, because this is the current range that we're in. Otherwise, if this gets broken, the lowest point, and the highest point. Yeah, and these are areas that are in um discount as well. Um, uh, if we do break here, then obviously it will mark a new range, and then we'll select new levels to trade from. But uh, as I said, I don't really trade AU, so. So, yeah. But well, this is the overall outlook. Okay, next one. Um, US 30? US 30, back on the daily. This is all liquidity. It's just trendline liquidity, and you can see that clear as day but right now since i don't know january it's been going down so on the daily we can see we are reacted off from this supply um and then obviously we have the extreme supply here that price could come back to and react from because it also swept liquidity so it makes a good area and then broke structure which would be this oh, is slow um, and then obviously this would be counted as in liquidity for price to come back to take out and then continue lower but at the moment we are bearish um, on the four hour we can see we broke structure here And then try to break lower here, but fail to do so, fail to do so and close with a candle wick. Um, change of character here. Reacted off a four-hour demand. I can see at the moment. Um, this would be the break of structure. So, price could come back to this four hour. But let's go on the one hour to see if anything's clear. Um, 
I would say this one hour, which would be the extreme, or I mean, because this is mitigated and then it breaks structure, or probably could just come back here and then just continue higher. But obviously, this is a better probable area since there's liquidity. That's waiting to be taken. Um, that would be on one hour. Um, then where could it react from? Obviously, these four-hour areas and this four-hour supply could cause a reaction, and then it could continue lower or react and then continue higher. Um, I don't really trade. Well, like I said, I don't trade any of these, but. US 30 is quite bullish at the moment, as you can see. Um, this leg. So, hopefully, it will come back down. Well, not hopefully, but we'll see if it comes back down and then we'll take the trade from there um, into somewhere higher into these daily areas. Um, price could just take this. Price could come back to this daily, take this high, and then react from something in the extreme here, and then continue lower. Or it could just continue higher into this de uh, daily demand and then wait for a um, break of structure and then just continue selling off um, to I don't even know where because you would just target these lows here. Lows, lows, lows. Um, yeah, that looks pretty clean actually. Amazing. Okay, let me just start a new clip because I have two more pairs to get through. And I won't do it in three minutes. Okay, be right. Okay, I'm back. Um, so we're doing J GJ at the moment. As you can see, we're quite bullish on the daily. Uh, had this break of structure and then a pullback into the range would be here and then now it hasn't closed with, closed with a candle body um, on the daily as a wick but as you can see we are respecting the daily demands um, because this could be counted as a break of structure, but it doesn't come back into the range where the move actually started, um, and it does here. Um, so yeah. Um, okay, so right now I would look for buys, because obviously the daily is a strong indication of where price wants to go so if the daily is buying we want to buy as well so now we're going to four hour quickly four hour let's see what we have nothing really same thing change of character um reacted off this four hour and then just pass it through this is literally the target um at the moment because we're bullish um price has reacted off this four hour which i suppose is what broke actually no it didn't but the supply was broken um so at the moment we're quite bullish um it's gonna one hour real quick Price is reacting from here. I don't expect this to hold though. Um, so, change of character here. Here. So, I would look for buys here. Um, yeah, because price. Could continue higher. If I were looking, if I were to look for sells, I would look for the extreme, which is up here, to sell from. Um, because as you can see, this would be 
inducement liquidity and this although it broke minor structure it didn't break major structure which would be this low here so it hasn't really done anything it's just um feel to induce sellers um before taking them out so i'll look for this area let me see on the 15 if there's anything suppose you could sell back down into the into the um demand zone i would wait for this to be swept uh, that's probably a five minute area then isn't it mm, not really four breaking let's just use the one minute yes so the one minute would be down here so let's refine it to the tiny, tiny, tiny areas. Which is still a far, it's far away so, so cells could, um, could play out. As you can see, it's reacted off this one minute at the moment. Um, and it looks like it's holding. But wait till market opens um, and see what happens. If we break this low, then I would look for continuation shorts um, into down here. Well, into this whole area. Where was it again? Into this one minute, I meant one hour area um, before looking for any buys. So that's my outlook, my quick outlook for uh, GJ, and then we'll do USD. JPY now quickly. Um, onto the daily. Okay, we're heavily bullish since God knows when, forever. Um, at the moment, have we haven't come back into the range, um, so we could see some cells back into. I would say this area here. This demand. Otherwise, it'll come down to the extreme demand. Obviously, that would take months and months. So, right now, we've broken structure to the upside. Let's come back into this little range. But let's go on the 4-hour, because the daily's not really doing much. Um, Yeah, this would be liquidity for that. Nothing really clear on the four hour. Let's go on the one hour. On the f one hour, this would be the break of structure or change of character. One hour supply. Okay, it's not. It just got tapped into, so price could come back higher to mitigate this. Um, and another break here. <clears throat> price tapped into it. Another one hour here, but then obviously the extreme is quite favorable um this is too obvious this is gonna get run um on the one hour we've had the break of structure here <clears throat> and then a one hour demand here with some inducement uh, can we refine it down i mean overall we're bullish but we're quite high in the leg but obviously you want to follow what the trend is doing but but here it's going um intraday on the 15 minute we'll go, we're down at the moment um so 15 would be either here yeah at the moment i would look for sales into well i'll look for buys from this area so there's nothing really going on um yeah i would look for i don't even know what i would look for i would look for what happens when it reacts off the areas to be honest because obviously you can't predict what price is gonna do um 
So we shall see next week what happens when market opens. Actually, when market opens tonight, um, we could gap. Um, we could react from here, but this doesn't really have because there's liquidity here, so it's not. It's a. It's not. Oh my god! I can't even speak. It's not high. It's highly likely not to. Highly unlikely to hold. Okay, I'm done for the. I'm done for the um, the weekly outlook. So that's six. Was it six pairs? Yeah, six pairs. So hopefully you found it useful. Um, if you do, comment down below which pairs you wanted me to do next week. Um, I would definitely. I would always do EU, obviously, because I trade EU. But um, I would do some other pairs, like some pairs that people don't really trade, or basically whatever comment wins, we'll do that outlook. Um, and then if you have any other video ideas, you can post it. Emma, you can write it down in the comments as well, um, and then I'll take them into consideration. I'll try to be more active, because um, obviously when I posted that last video, everyone was like, they enjoyed the video, so... I will try to be active on here, but obviously, please like the video if you did enjoy it, so I know. Okay, thanks, bye!